everybody. We are busy building again and kind of neglected to film a lot of it, but I probably should because you guys like to know what's going on. So we are once again constructing. There's a small little building here. This will act as a little schoolhouse and a little guest house and most likely a little banya down the road. I'm not sure when we'll get around to that. Plus, our wood boiler for heating the house will go in here and a little supply of firewood. Not a very big building, very small, but we're gonna uh, slap this together real quick. It is five meters by six meters, roughly, plus this little piece, this little jut out on this side, which is about two meters by three meters maybe, can't remember. So anyway, that's what we're working on right now. We're gonna build that as fast as we can and get it all insulated and done. The floor is all insulated and done, sitting on piers. And uh, now we're gonna be building the walls. We'll get those insulated. I'm hoping to have this thing all done in about two weeks as well. Basically looking like that one does. And then uh, we have siding coming for that one in another week and a half roughly. And then I'll order siding for this one as well. So they'll both be done before winter. And I'm still hoping to start on this guy. The boys took a little bit of dirt out of there with the tractor, uh, but ultimately we gotta get that topsoil out. I might do that later because we are pressed for time. I might just dig the trenches and get all my posts set for the building. And then I can always build it in the winter time, but at least the post would be in the ground. So uh, that would be a very important Beautiful weather. It is fall for sure. Still lots of leaves, no snow yet. You can see we are back to wearing toques. It is a little bit cool out, but uh, not too bad. The mornings are most most coldest, I guess. And then during the day, it's not too bad. I think we're like nine, 10 degrees. Next week's actually gonna be pretty good again. And then it's gonna start dipping a little bit closer to zero, but still not freezing. I think we had one morning where there was a little bit of ice on a puddle. Uh, and other than that, it's uh, it's been above zero. So. We're very, very happy, very surprised. This is our first fall here. It's basically identical to what we're used to back home. We were a little worried because spring here is actually uh, a month earlier. Spring seemed to come here much sooner. It was much nicer. We figured, you know what, maybe fall will come a month earlier and uh, cooler. But so far this year has been absolutely delightful.
and this. Boys, can you do it without me? Yeah. It's gonna be a heavy lift. Big wall. We got one, two, three. We gotta count it out. Eleven studs. Eleven studs. I know. It's big. Okay. Ready. Come on, man. Yep. Raz, dva, tri. Go. Nail it to the floor. Are you serious? That is a big wall. Wow. How did you guys manage to do that by yourselves? If you stick your tongue out just a little bit farther, it'll help. <laughs> it's so cute. Aww. Good morning again. It is a little windy. It's actually less cold than yesterday, but it's just a little bit windy. We are building another structure, as I told you the other day, and we are in a race for time just to see how fast we can get it done. This building is six meters long, five meters wide. The purpose is a uh, schoolhouse. Uh, we're planning on putting a little banya in here as well, probably. And also just as a guest house. Uh, family, friends, whatever comes to visit. So just gonna be a small little roof on here. Not much, a little loft space basically. And it's not a very big building. Sitting on piers, insulated floor, the walls, ceiling, everything will be insulated. And we're gonna have a wood shack on here. And that's the other purpose of this building is that our boiler, wood fired boiler will be in here to heat our house. And it will also heat this little building. Um, I'm trying to document how long it takes to build these because I think this is a very economical size and uh, it can be scaled bigger homes, so we can double the size of it as well. But it's a nice little size, it's 30 square meters, story and a half, uh, nice cabin, beautiful cabin size. Actually bigger than you'd need for like camping wise, but almost big enough to live in for, uh, for a small family. So just the idea of what it takes time wise to do, uh, that's what we're working on. This is day three, but really we haven't worked long days, maybe yeah, 
five, six hours a day. And this is day number three. So it's amazing what you can accomplish in that short of time. So far, it's only been Wesley, Waylon, and myself working on this building. And uh, by the end of the day, we hope to have the roof on and all the house wrap on. Depending on the wind, it is actually kind of windy for house wrap, but at least we'll get all the roofing on. And then uh, by the end of the week, it'll be all closed in and weather tight, just like our house. I did pick up windows for it, and I still have to pick up a door. I ran out of room in the van, so I will pick that up on Thursday. That's it. That's all. I'm cutting rafters right now. Fairly simple process because I use a construction calculator on my phone. But essentially what you need is some basic math. You need to know uh, the total width here. You divide that in half. That is your run for a rafter. And then you need to know what angle you want to do. So I picked a 512. That's in Imperial. Nobody what that is in metric, but a 512 angle. Uh, which is five inches for every for every 12 inches over it goes up five. That's a 512. 412 then would be four inches up for every 12 inches over. So 512 is nice. I got four on the house. This one I did five snow will slide off a little better and I just needed a wee bit more room. But we don't have too much room because we don't want to touch this wire. So it'll work out just great. So once you have the run figured out and you have the angle that you want figured out, then you can figure out how long this piece is very easily. And that's what I did here, translated on. This is called a bird's beak. This will be my overhang. Normally I would go with more of an overhang, but I only have a six meter board. And this is basically perfectly three meters, just a hair shy of three meters, just in case there's a few boards that are shorter. I made it a little bit less. And so once you have your pattern, you take your one piece, you mark a pattern on it, which I didn't do yet, but I will. It does not have to be pretty, it just needs to say pattern. So you know that that's the one, and you just trace it on all the rest of the rafters. And it's ready to go. So we just threw it up there, dry fitted it. It was perfect, but it did not account for the ridge pull, which I knew, so we brought it down. Taking two and a half centimeters off of each one, that'll allow for a five centimeter ridge pull. Ridge pull just runs straight down the middle, straight up and down, and the rafters get nailed into it from both sides, and then helps to sturdy everything up. So once these are cut, these will be ready to go. I'll throw the one up to them, and the other rafter I will keep uh, as my pattern to mark all the rest of these boards. There is, what, 22 total, Wayland? Yeah. 22 to cut? Yes, sir, and we will get those all on. This little fella is just working hard. He doesn't actually accomplish anything as far as like constructive necessary, but he just works hard all day, busy with stuff. All right, now I guess his plan is to set this ladder up. I don't really know. It's amazing. But in mind, they like doing that anyway. They just like being close by and they just like being busy. So why not give them something constructive? Age appropriate, constructive stuff to do. Right, so a lot of times I get them to clean up the job site. Like, oh, great. And they grab a wheelbarrow and they start picking up all the pieces of wood. So, one, it's great because it cleans the job site up for me. Two, it's great for them because they get to spend time with you. And that's what it's all about. When you have kids, just find little things to do. Make sure it's meaningful so they don't feel like they're away from you or feel like they're doing something dumb. But, uh, you know, they feel good about it at the end of the day. That didn't work. <laughs> Everybody needs to feel good. We need to feel like we're contributing. That doesn't matter. At my age, I still want to feel good. I still want to feel like I'm contributing and doing something useful. And uh, it's just important to remember. So if you've got kids, try to find little things that they can do. You'd be amazed what they can do. Look at this. Nobody's helping them. That's a big ladder. It's an aluminum ladder, granted. It's not super heavy, but for a three-year-old, that's a big job. Now, some of you might be like, you got to go over there and help him. He's going to get hurt. He's not going to get hurt. What's going to happen? He's going to fall over in the sand. It's not going to hurt him any. He'll be all right. It's all part of growing and experiencing and learning. What are you doing, young man? You're going to get it all the way up? Yeah. You're doing pretty good so far. I'm kind of curious to see if you're going to make it up there. Big muscles. Doing good, eh? <laughs> the worst is when he gets too close to the edge, it'll fall over. All right, we'll get back to him in a minute. Truth be told, he never did get the ladder up. He changed the game, he's gone. 
He moved inside. Thought it would be easier to play around in there instead. So he put the ladder inside by himself, and now he's doing, I don't know what he's doing. He's doing something. Kids are great. They never quit thinking. They're always doing something. Give them lots to think about. Give them lots uh, of opportunity to use that energy. Especially the boys. I find they have endless amounts of energy. And if you don't find something constructive, something useful, semi-useful even, they will find something quite often mischievous. <laughs> and then they'll get into something. So you might as well utilize that energy uh, for something that makes everybody feel good. You feel good? Yeah. Yeah? Life good? Yeah. Awesome. You what? You reach? Yeah. Yeah! Okay, phone was charging. Lots has been done again. This happens. So Jerry's cutting a few collar ties right now. Rafters are all up. That looks like it's touching. It's not. Don't worry. The wire is way above the roof. We've got all the rafters up. Ridge pulls in. I notched the end of the ridge pull to get ready for a two by four fascia on this side. We will put all little collar ties in. Very small, but just helps to hold it together all the way along on the inside. Right now, Wes and I are getting ready to frame this. So he's banging in the bottom sill plate for the wall, and he's gonna give me measurements for studs, and I will put the studs in, or I will cut them. I'm getting ready here on the sawhorses. This is also something great. Get your kids to do. Find a bunch of nails and a stick of wood. Costs you almost nothing. Get a hammer and let them play around. It's great for hand-eye coordination. All right, it starts with two hands on the stick. Eventually they learn to run a hammer with one. It's just good practice. There's nothing wrong with doing this. I remember going to a church picnic as a kid one time and they had a whole whack of chunks of wood and a big box of nails and some hammers. And uh, boy, that keeps a boy busy for a long time. More great advice for you. It's actually something you can do in the city for kids. Uh, I think kids wandering around aimlessly it, without supervision is not a good it's a recipe for disaster put it that way uh, it can go good it can also go bad children left alone tend to act like children and uh some parental supervision is usually a good idea but you can get a stick of wood you can get a log you can get whatever when you're done with it just throw it out it's not a big deal you're not missing much you buy one 10 foot or, t or three meter piece of wood and uh, in a box of nails and just let them have fun. Cut it into short chunks. When they're done with the one chunk, you throw it in the trash bin and you get another chunk. Endless fun. All right, this is what she looks like right now. We are uh, hopefully gonna get some OSB on the roof yet. Get her all closed in with tie bar. That was the plan. There will be one window up here and one window on the other wall. So we're gonna frame those in. Uh, here, this is a door. We gotta cut the rest out yet. You know, you know how it goes. If you've watched our building, you've seen how it goes. I built a little temporary stairs. There will be a little porch on here. We're gonna build, bring this grade up a little bit. All eventually. Right now the rush is just to get it closed in. And then a lot of the stuff can be finished later on. Back to work. All right, stud wall is going in. I don't have a cameraman today, so it's hard to film the progress. You can see Wes is now putting in the collar ties. Like I said, they're just small ones, but they still help. They tie it all together. It cannot come down. Right, because those hold the two sides together. And that way we still have maximum space. I can't stand up there, it's just too short for me. That was done on design because I don't want to get too close to this wire. Like I said, it still looks close, but the farther I back up, the more you'll see it's actually quite a ways away from the wire. It just looks that way when you get close. Yeah, but it's not actually. So anyway, that'll all get done, and we'll get these stud walls all in. I don't know if we'll get OSB on or not. Let's see how far we get. But it's progress, and this is day three. Like I said, this whole thing, three days so far. This is day number three. That's pretty good progress. Hello, everybody. Good morning. Aaron Feenster here from Countryside Acres. We are still working on the little shack. It's been raining a lot lately. It's harder to get stuff done, and it's like a cold rain. It's like mm, maybe two, three degrees above zero, above freezing uh, in the mornings, and then it goes up to about eight or nine. So you can see we're we're well dressed. Roof is waterproofed. All done.
Finish that the other day. We've got to finish the strapping. The far side, I've got a couple of runs of strapping. We've got to do this side yet, be ready for steel. And I want to measure it today. Right now, we're working on the windows, getting the framing finished for that. So by the end of today, I hope to have all the framing done, the vapor barrier around the whole building, all the windows in, maybe the door. Not sure about it yet. Uh, the only door that I have available right now is actually for the house, but I can always pick up another one for the house and use it for this, so whatever. It'd be nice to get this guy all sealed in, closed up, and then, uh, then we can insulate it yet. So. Yep, day four. So four days and we'd have it completely closed in with the windows in. Pretty good progress, I think. Got all these trusty workers. You ready to go too? You're cleaning up, man, right? Yeah. You're the cleanup guy. Been cleaning up all sorts of sticks over here. Do you like working? Yeah. You want to sit in the house instead? No. Why not? Cause. You like it outside? Yeah. All right. Good time. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Call us crazy, but things are finally right. With you and I, the future is bright. guest house that we built it's not quite ready yet but almost that's uh, about five days of labor that includes this for the walls just gonna be OSB on the inside walls Got a nice loft upstairs as well so we're building a Murphy bed in the corner here, putting the bathroom in, place for boots and coats, little kitchenette, sitting area. It's not huge, but uh, still, the price is good. The view is good, but not this morning because it is really foggy. We're just getting up. It's a cool little car, eh? Yeah. How does it work? Do you show me? What's a battery in it? Uh-huh. In there? Oh yeah. Battery goes in there? Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. And that plugs in then. And then um press press this. And then press what? Oh that. <laughs> and then what does it do? Dry. Very fast or slow? Go. <laughs> That fast? Yes. <laughs> 
That's fast. <laughs> wow. Let's see Papa Shrimp. Hey, darling. Can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey, darling. We could get out of town. See the beautiful world around. 